Imagine a reality where just watching something changes what it is. I know it sounds a bit like science fiction, but actually it's quantum physics. Those of you who are familiar with CERN, this is something that they mention quite often, but many people overlook it because many people simply do not know it exists. The quantum observer effect is a phenomenon in quantum mechanics where the act of observing or measuring a quantum system alters its behavior. Now the foundation of this idea comes from the double slit experiment where particles like electrons behave like waves when unobserved, creating interference patterns. But when scientists measure which slit a particle passes through, the particles shift to behaving like solid objects and the wave-like pattern vanishes. When you think about it, this changes our understanding of reality at the quantum level. In other words, the universe doesn't exist in a definite state until it is observed. So after understanding these principles, it brings up questions about the role of consciousness and the nature of reality. And one of the questions is, does the act of observation shape the universe? I want to explore this and how this ties into consciousness, technology, and more importantly, the true nature of reality. Okay, so let me start with wave-particle duality. And this is a concept in quantum mechanics that reveals particles such as electrons and photons showing both wave-like and particle-like behavior depending on the experiment. Now when no one is watching, particles act like waves and they spread out and interfere with themselves. This can be demonstrated in the double-slit experiment when particles are fired at a barrier with two slits and one observes which slit they go through. They create an interference pattern on a detection screen which detects the characteristic of waves. This means that the particles are not traveling through just one slit but behaving as if they go through both simultaneously. Now when someone is watching, the particles behave like objects. In the double slit experiment, if detectors are placed to observe which slit a particle passes through, the interference pattern disappears and the particles form two distinct clusters on the screen, like bullets passing through one slit or the other. I know that sounds a little bit crazy, but that is a significant difference created just by someone watching the experiment versus not watching the experiment. Are you with me so far? So here's the mystery with this. Wave-particle duality defies classical physics, where objects are either particles or waves, but not both. In quantum mechanics, particles exist in a state of superposition, another term you hear a lot at CERN, meaning they have a potential to be either a wave or a particle until they are measured. Let me put it to you this way. In the movie The Matrix, when no one is observing closely, reality exists in its raw, undetermined state just like the green code seen by Neo when he is inside the matrix. When someone focuses their attention in the matrix, the program renders a specific version of reality. For example, a wall, a street, or a person. 
Just as Neo's awareness and interaction with the Matrix change how the simulation behaves, like bending spoons or dodging bullets, your act of observing a particle forces it to choose a definite state. The act of observing in quantum mechanics is like Neo focusing his mind on the program, causing it to respond and render reality differently. So, if you understand that part of it, you're probably wondering, okay, so why does this happen? Well, there are a few theories about this. First, there is what's called a wave function collapse, which is a process where a quantum particle transitions from a superposition of multiple possible states into a single definite state when it is observed or measured. Before measurement, the particle's state is described with a mathematical representation of all the probabilities of where it could be or how it could behave. For example, an electron could be in multiple locations simultaneously, but the act of observing it collapses the wave function, and the particle is forced to exist in one specific location or state. There's the Copenhagen interpretation, where quantum systems don't have definite properties until they are measured. In this interpretation, reality remains in a state of potentiality, and particles exist as probabilities, until an observation or measurement forces the system to take on a specific state, which means that reality at the quantum level is tied to the act of measurement. Then there's the many worlds interpretation, which suggests that wave function collapse never actually occurs. Instead, every possible outcome of a quantum event happens, but each outcome exists in its own separate parallel universe. For example, if a particle has two potential states, Observation doesn't choose one state over the other. Instead, the universe splits into two versions, one where the particle exists in the first state and another where it exists in the second state. And so with this theory, we have countless branching universes. There is also the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, where a particle's position and momentum cannot be precisely measured simultaneously. The more accurately you try to measure a particle's position, the less certain you can be about its momentum, and vice versa. It is the act of measurement that disturbs the system, meaning that observing one particle alters another. So the point of all this, I guess, is how does consciousness affect reality. Again, those folks over at CERN, they know this stuff. They talk about this all the time when it comes to their experiments. The act of a conscious observer perceiving a quantum system might be the critical factor that determines how the system behaves. There is the von Neumann-Wigner interpretation, which suggests that the mind plays an active role in shaping physical reality. The quantum system remains in a superposition of states until it is consciously observed, and reality at the quantum level may be tied to the presence of awareness. I think at this point, most of you get the idea. If the mind can influence quantum systems, then to what extent do human thoughts and intentions shape reality. Synchronicity, the power of intention, the idea of collective consciousness where multiple observers shape their shared reality, free will, spiritual philosophies that suggest that the power of the mind can manifest outcomes in life. In Buddhism, the concept of 
dependent origination teaches that reality is co-created through the interaction of the observer and the observed so that the mind constructs the world we experience. Meditation practices that focus on altering one's perception of reality can be seen as the quantum act of collapsing a wave function, you see? And I know I keep coming back to this, but doesn't this all keep reminding you of CERN and how they view particle physics? If CERN has a better understanding of this, and they actually experiment with these concepts, is it possible that the scientists there have an influence on the world around us just from what they observe? I mean, they did create the internet and all they seem to be doing over there is looking at stuff. Crazy, right? In fact, take these concepts that I have just discussed Apply them to the experiments at CERN and see what you find. Because this concept does have practical applications. Quantum computers and their reliance on superposition and entanglement. Quantum cryptography for secure communications. Sci-fi technologies like quantum teleportation or energy manipulation. Does reality exist if no one is watching? Are we shaping reality simply by being conscious? Could the observer effect indicate that reality functions like a computer program or a video game? Then there is the law of attraction and manifestation theories. Are our thoughts observing reality into existence. There is a scene in the Matrix where Neo is fighting Morpheus in a training simulation. After they both leave the simulation, Neo notices that he is bleeding from the mouth and he says to Morpheus, I thought it wasn't real. Then Morpheus says, your mind makes it real. Well, that's going to be all for now, and there is more to come. I do have a recommended video for the day. Watch that video. It will be linked on screen at the top right corner of this video and in the description box and pinned comment below. Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my other links in the description box below. You can also follow me on Instagram at jwoodward. Everyone have a great day. And as always, friends, stay awake, stay aware, stay safe, and I'll talk to you all soon. Every minute of every day, your body heals, repairs, and regenerates you from the inside out. Yet everyday exposure to heavy metals and toxins builds up and blocks your body's natural abilities. Natural zeolite is nature's answer to our toxic body burden. Breakthrough sound wave technology creates the world's first colloidal zeolite. Touch tone essentials, pure body extra colloidal zeolite helps clean out the chemicals from the body with an easy to use spray so you can make room for healthy in your life. Click the link in the description box below to order your supply of Zeolite today because now is the time to live your best life.